Hi, Shrinking fans. Welcome to Tori Talks with Dr. S. I'm Tori. This is Dr. S. Today we're going to talk about Shrinking Season 2, Episode 1 and 2. We were gifted two episodes. I, I wasn't know. expecting. Yeah, wasn't that what nice? A treat. Yeah, yeah. Oh, my gosh. Yes, I love it when I don't know. Christmas came early. Mm -hmm. All right. Well, as we know, Season 1 ended with a boop by <laughs> Grace. And... She's in jail. Oh, poor I thing. I mean, obviously. She feels right? so bad. Yeah, yeah. He's not even dead. When she said she'd rather be married than there, I mean, that says it all. <gasps> so this is the problem. People are getting jimmied. Jimmy <laughs> is happening. So Jimmy's overly explicit advice is kind of like his addiction or his, his way of coping with the loss of his wife. I get it. Yes. Because remember at the beginning of last season, he was... You're taking girls home and drinking and yes. doing drugs and all that stuff. So maybe this is his new vice, but he's definitely getting too involved. He's he one is. extreme. Well, you're not supposed to give advice as a therapist. You're supposed to give tools, and then you oh. can encourage your clients to use the tools, but you're not supposed to tell them to do things like, you have to leave your husband or I'm going to drop you as a client. Yeah, that was threatening, actually. Yes, actually. Uh, yeah. So, yeah. So, and then maybe it's because Boundaries. he wanted somebody to tell him what to do. Yeah. He maybe really wanted that. I don't know, but yeah. Well, Paul recognizes this in him and says, you need to get back to the conventional therapy mm -hmm. that, you know, he he has. His, that's the way he does it. But also, his might be too conventional. So we have one extreme and the other. Mm -hmm. It's all about balance, yes. right? Um, okay, so in a crazy little twist, the drunk driver who killed Tia, his wife, shows up to apologize. And it's played by oh my gosh. the amazingly talented and handsome mm -hmm. uh brett goldstein mm -hmm. and he's one of the executive producers yes. and writers mm -hmm. right so, but yeah i mean it's i'm so happy to see him in another role that isn't I, roy kent we heard about <laughs> that this was happening but i kind of forgot about it yeah and I did it too. kind of surprised me and then what a different role for him yeah. right like oh i'm so excited to see him like stretch his acting abilities yes it's totally different obviously a very remorseful man yeah. but jimmy rightfully so yells and says get out of here i mean he's just not ready to face that oh demon. yeah 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 totally i mean i would have beat the poop out of him <laughs> oh my god can you imagine the restraint oh he was feeling Seriously. right so he has to somehow tell his daughter alice that this happened and he does it in the worst way but it was so funny <laughs> so thank you at your expense but hilarious so he just bad. kind of blurts it out yes and then the neighbor guy. I always forget Liz's husband's name, which is actually ironic. <laughs> but he's so funny. He's the best. He, I think Played yeah. by Ted McGinley. Yes. Who I used to have the biggest crush on when he was like, you know, 30 years ago. Yeah. Yeah. He's still a good looking man. Yeah, definitely. A full head of hair. He's just the most <laughs> likable person yes. character ever. Mm -hmm. um, but anyway, he does ultimately tell her she's very aware. But then now Alice is trying to get her driver's license, right? Because it's time. Mm -hmm. Our little girl's growing up. And she's hesitant to drive, and I completely understand. Totally. Um, but then someone suggests that she writes a letter to DD, double D, is what they call drunk driver. Mm -hmm. um, and I, I've heard that as a, as a tool, yeah. like you're saying, that even if you're, it's not going to go to them, just write it, get For it you out. you to get it out, Move exactly. Move the energy, yes. right? Yes. So she does do that, but it turns out that she is now watching him. <laughs> so dangerous. Via his so window. So I was first worried at the end of season one, when um, Jimmy didn't tell her anything and he just said, like, it was a good day, mm -hmm. that he was going to revert back to the way he was. And mm -hmm. that's what she was so worried about, right? Like, that's yes. why she was watching him as, as he slept. But then now it's her. Mm. She's the one going to this dark place. Oh, uh -huh. I didn't so even pick up on that. So I'm kind of worried because, yeah, like watching him from yeah. outside his house. I mean, Jimmy is too, definitely, because he yeah. they that ep first episode ended with him saying, I'm, I'm good, I'm yeah. great. Yeah. But, yeah, but then he, but I thought he wasn't going to tell her. At all. But he did. He came clean. I was like, okay, so I think it's like her time. It's like her uh, turn to like... Spiral, maybe. Yeah, and maybe she needs to have her journey to come out of it because... I don't mean, oh, no. You have to eventually, Like, right? do you think she's going to talk to him? Like, go knock on the door? I do. Yeah. I think she is. Yeah, I do too. That'd it's be very be interesting. problematic scene to watch. Yes. Yeah. Um, I just have to point out Connor, Liz's son, and the neighbor. What's <laughs> his name? That's horrible. Um, Connor has... Gerald? Yeah, <laughs> for the sake of this uh, video. Yep, it's Gerald. Well, their son, Connor, who's so cute, has the biggest crush on Alice, and it's adorable. I know. Um, but she passes him off to her friend Summer, but I think that's going to come back to bite her in the butt, and there's yes. going to be some jealousy yes. because she's going to find out. He just seems Derek. super harm. Derek, is it? <laughs> I think so. Well, <laughs> we'll call him Derek. That sounds good to me. All right, moving on. Let's talk about 
Sean. So everything's going well with Sean and the food truck yes. that Liz yes. has obviously mm -hmm. helped with or is a part of. Yes, I want but, to eat that food, by the way. Yeah, it looks Dang so good. It looks good. So he is supposed to meet up with his army buddy, but he flakes. He's just not ready. He just doesn't want to have to like talk about it again. Yeah. Same thing happened with the vlog that they wanted a, a veteran's point mm -hmm. of view. And he's like, I just don't want... I mean, yeah. he needs to, yes. right? Uh, talk but, about it yes. and get it out, but on his I, own terms. Yes, exactly. I'm kind of torn because I think he doesn't need to talk to that friend if he knows what's going to happen. Like he kind of, it's kind of good that he recognizes so he, that he doesn't go there because he's not ready. Yes. But yeah, totally. Now him being nervous to tell Liz, like, hey, I really don't want to do that vlog, which is great. He's setting a boundary, right? Mm -hmm. This whole two episodes is about boundaries, yes. obviously. But I loved uh, Paul's advice about doing reversal of desire yes. to like play out the worst case scenario mm -hmm. and then just speak the phrase, I love pain out loud. Yes. Um, anyway, it was interesting because I think we all kind of do worst case scenario. There's a lot yes. of examples of you're like, I'm afraid to tell this person because then they're going to do this. And then we're both to each other. Yes. We're like, it wasn't that bad, actually. No, actually. <laughs> they, it's yeah. just, but at least you get it out and then you are mm -hmm. prepared for it if it maybe does happen. Yeah. But yeah, Liz is as cool as can she be. Totally, of course. She's the best. Of course she is. She's the absolute best friend. Yeah. Yeah, and what does she do? She gives him a rock. Yeah. Oh, That's the ultimate act love of love that. for her. Yes. So, all is well there. I mean, Sean does end up having to go to Paul now mm -hmm. instead of Jimmy, which is really good advice. It does make sense because exactly what Paul said was happening. Mm -hmm. Sean wasn't telling Jimmy the truth because he didn't want to tell him. Like, yeah, wasn't a true, like, therapist-client relationship anymore. Yes, especially because... After Paul takes over Sean, Sean sends him a really long text after hours, working hours, and he's like, no. this." And so Paul sets a boundary with that, but that's because Jimmy would would allow it. Yes. So, well, I mean, he let him into his house, so he would definitely I mean, answer a phone call or answer a text any time of day, which is not, you don't do that. Tr yeah, yeah, that's true. Uh, shouldn't have let him in the house, but I love him, so I'm yeah, glad he has a place to go. Works, but just, you can't have both. You can't have yeah, the dual yes. relationship. Okay, let's talk about Gabby. Oh, I love my Gabby. Gosh, okay, I do too. She, uh, she's wanting to quit Jimmy, basically. Mm -hmm. um, you know, finding it difficult because there's real feelings that are going to yeah. be involved, and I think she has a lot of guilt because this is her now dead best friend's husband. Yes. Um, but you know, she's having trouble with her mom and sister, and Jimmy's her friend, so she's got to go to him to talk about it, right? Yeah. Um, but Jimmy does something very jerky, and I'm not happy about it when he comes over and he's wearing. The okay. red underwear? I know. He knew that yeah. it would end up that way. He was trying to get the booty call. I mean, I was kind of <clears> torn <throat> because he came also with her, like, favorite things, and he was there. He knew, like, the history of her, his, her relationship with her mom and sister. So, like, that part was good. But ultimately, he knew. Yeah. It would end yeah. in. But the thing is, he knows how she feels about him. Yeah. So, so he's, he's ignoring the fact that... He's supposed to back off because he doesn't have feelings also, right? Is she, but if he had feelings, it would be okay? Well, the whole point of it is that she wants to back off for her own reasons. It's right. not just about, right? Like, I think it's like, hey, I hear you. Mm -hmm. Obviously, if he had those feelings, he would have told her already, right? Right, right. But he didn't. He's not ready for it. And maybe it. he doesn't even know yet. Maybe yeah, he, he ultimately will. Yeah. But the point is, she's like, no. And then she's like, you still came over here assuming that this was going to happen. Yeah. Instead of being my friend and stopping it from yeah. happening. It's hard, it I know. Hard. Because we love them together as friends. Yeah. And the hookup, whatever. I mean, you could take it or leave it. But, but they're going to get together. Do you think so? I think so. They're not just booty call. Like, he also knows her. And they're really good friends. Yeah. So I don't know. I just think it's going to be more. But he's not ready. Yeah. Yeah. She ultimately throws him out, which I was really yeah, happy because she, boundaries. Yeah. I we mean, she, I think if he, she thought he had feelings because she, well, she kind of wants him to have feelings because she kind of put it out there like, you know, like, it's not like we have feelings, like, but if he had said, well, I kind of do. Yes. Because she, he knows that she does because yes. she said it. She's like, you know, I caught feelings, which is, what a cute phrase. Yeah. I caught feelings. Yeah. I never heard that before. Oh. It was adorable. Oh, oh I it's have, adorable. Yeah, oh, it is, right? It. Isn't it cute? Yeah. So, but he didn't reciprocate, so I think that was yeah. her sign to like back yeah. off. Yeah, I don't know. It is a little bit of a mess, but we'll we'll get there. I kind of want them to cool it with that because mm -hmm. he. It is like a way of they kind of escape to each other for a good time because they yeah. have fun with each other in that mm -hmm. way. But they both need to. She needs to figure out what's going on with their mom and sister. He needs to figure his crap out. Yeah, and then maybe when they're doing better, yeah, they can come back together. Yeah. I don't know. It has to be drawn out, anyways. <laughs> of course. Yeah. yeah. Of course, because it's only the first two episodes. Yeah, that's true. Um. I want to mention Paul and Julie, mm -hmm. um, how he kind of tried to back off with Julie, like, 
what did he call it? Roomies with Bennies? <laughs> <laughs> oh weirdo. Um, but yeah, Dr. Julie was like, okay, cool. I can I can do that. Like, yeah. that, fine. We'll back off. But then he's like, no, never mind. Come back. <laughs> I know. It's so cute. Also, don't want to forget about Brian, his best friend. But Brian, who's going to do pro bono work yeah. for Grace, he's not happy that Jimmy never told him about hooking up with Gabby. He even told Grace. Yeah, what the heck? What the heck? So, yeah, so why? Why did he not tell? He's embarrassed. I think it's that. Kind shame. Of shame. Yeah, yeah, I think so too. That's complicated. Maybe he would have told him not to. That is complicated. I don't know. Why? But that's going to come back, obviously. Mm -hmm. But anyway, what did you think in the first two episodes? I love them. It made me feel so good. So I rewatched the whole first season, like over the few days before, and then was so happy to kind of see the characters back again. Yeah. I love them so much. It's the best cast ever. And writing. Yes. Yeah. Oh Oh, my gosh. They make me laugh. They make me feel so clever. Like the the writing is amazing. Yeah. Just the way they can take like a little nugget of like everyday life. Yeah. But like who would have thought to like put that in a show? Right. You know, like just like little everyday things. Like, just genius. You know what else is genius? TV fans like us, because these are all TV people. This is, we've got, obviously, uh, Jimmy. Mm-hmm. Uh, what the hell's his name? Well, anyway, uh, he was in Siegel. How I Met Your Mother. Jason, Jason Siegel. Siegel. <laughs> like, that's my brother's name, Jason. <laughs> anyway, he was in How I Met Your Mother. Mm-hmm. Uh, we have Liz, who is in Scrubs. Scrubs. And then mm-hmm. there was another cameo, Scrubs cameo, from the patient that Paul has to let go, but then they're actually just going to be friends. Um, and then Gabby, she was on The Daily Show. I believe, oh, yeah. I don't know that. Wendy Malick has been on a million different things. But yes, the, oh, I love Wendy yeah. Malick. Hot mm-hmm. in Cleveland is what I'm, for some reason, just yeah. recently remembering. Um, yeah, just a yeah. lot of TV people. So yeah. And I mean, Harrison Ford, I've never been so, like, in love with him. Yeah. He's so endearing. Yeah. Like, and I didn't know he had that type of, like, comedy in him. Yeah. Just, just dry. Yes. And awesome, like when he, when Jimmy was telling him about the dream that he had of uh, Paul pushing him off the ledge, he kind of has a slight smile. <laughs> he took some uh, enjoyment in that. Anyway, off to a good start. I'm excited to see more. Do you not? Did you see how many episodes there are? Oh, I wasn't I did even not. looking. Hopefully I know. Get, I know like, there were ten in the first season. Oh, okay. So hopefully Probably. it's at least the same. All right, everybody, let us know what you thought of the first two episodes of Shrinking Season Two. Comment below, and then we'll see you next week. Thank you for watching. Bye bye. Help me carry. Wait, that's dragging me down